Hi friends, today what we are going to do is we are going to uh, draw something um, in the style of James Rizzi. Okay, James Rizzi was a, an American artist. He lived in New York. Um, he died recently in 2011. And oh, what is special about this artist is he used to um, do pop art and he used to do pop art uh, in the style of a child okay you will uh, know more about this i will talk more about this while we are doing the lesson so let's see the supplies that we need today we need crayons or markers <clears throat> and then we need a paper to draw on so we are going to place the paper in the uh, uh, in the landscape style okay then first thing what we're going to do is um I'm going to draw with a black marker. If you want, you can draw with a pencil first and then um, outline everything with a black marker or a black crayon later. The reason is James Rizzi outlined everything that he drew with a black marker. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, I'm going to use my black marker. I'm going to leave um, maybe three finger space on the bottom of my paper. I'm going to put a dot here and then I'm going to draw the water, okay? So the water, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it like, can you see the smile? Like this is how we draw a smile, right? And then like that, or a U, connected U's. I'm going all the way to the other side of the paper. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to draw the, uh, the shape. So I don't know the parts of the shape, so I'm just going to draw this, okay? So this is going to be the front part of the shape. So this is going to be a little bit curvy. It's like a C. And then this is a backward C. Can you see that? We are going to connect this with that. So it's like a slight slope is there, okay? I'm going to draw another line under the line that we just made. And then divide that into sections like this okay under that I'm going to add some oval or circular shaped windows all the way across okay I'm going to draw the next um, deck or the next um, deck is what they call I guess so I'm going to draw the next deck of for this shape okay so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a um, line like this okay and then i'm going to make another line like that i left some space on either side i'm going to connect these and then i'm going to add some uh, windows to the next deck all the way from here to this side now the third deck Connect it, add windows, same way we did for the first two. Got it? Now we are going to add the turbines, okay? So the turbines, these uh, ships are like steam powered. So the turbine um, make this, that's where the steam is made. And then that's how the ship moves, I guess. Um, so I'm going to draw two um, lines like that and then connect it. And then I'm going to make a small rectangle on top. Same thing, two lines, connect it. A small rectangle on top okay so we have the ship ready I'm going to add the steam going out now um, we were saying that uh, James Rissy uh, used to draw like a child right so children when they're drawing something they always add a Sun and clouds to their drawing if it's an outside drawing Okay, so I'm going to add the sun just like what James Rizzi does. James Rizzi always make the sun with the eyes and a mouth. 
Okay, then we are going to add the rays. And then, and then we are going to add some squiggly lines in between these straight lines. Okay. Got it? Now we are going to make some uh, clouds. So how do we make a cloud? So clouds, what I always say, a cloud is uh, an oval shape or a um, circular shape thing uh, made with squiggly lines. So, so I'm going to make a oval with squiggly lines and this is how it turns out, right? So I'm going to make another oval shape with squiggly lines, another one, a small one maybe here and a medium sized one up here okay so we have the uh, the ship and the sky ready now we are going to draw some fishes swimming under okay so uh, let's see how we make this fish I'm going to put the paper sideways like this I'm going to make a V connect the V I'm going to make a U shape upside down U okay and then for the tail I make two lines like that and then connect it okay and when you turn this around we're going to add the fins and we're going to add a mouth and a eye for the fish so we have one fish you're going to add a family of fish or a group of fish a group of fish is called what a group of fish is called a school right so i'm going to make a school of fish we first connected upside down you two lines coming out connected turn it around make the fins make the eyes and a mouth maybe another one we connect you upside down you tail fins eyes and a mouth if you want you can add make one more okay so i'm going to add more lines to show the water and some bubbles so squiggly lines okay so then so now we are done with the drawing part so now we are going to color it i'm going to start coloring the shape first so the shape um i'm imitating um the painting by james to see the name of the painting is called cruising so if you guys um can you can Google cruising by James Rizzi and you can see the picture that I'm trying to imitate. Now, you'll be wondering, why do we always imitate an artist, right? We imitate an artist, one or two artists uh, every year. The reason is we imitate an artist so that way we learn the style, a new style because each artist has a different style of art. So when you imitate an artist, we learn that new style and then uh, over the years you will learn so many different styles of art and then when you think you are ready you can come up with your own style so that's what artists uh, people who want to become artists do they learn um, imitate other artists and then come up with their own style later on in their life okay so let's color each deck but we are not coloring the um the windows we are going to leave the windows white so james Rissi, you will be wondering why is it so um special about james Rissi? so james Rissi, what he did was he um thought he want to have fun all through his life okay so maybe he looked he thought who has the most fun who has most fun of course the kids have all the fun in the world 
right? So what he did was he started imitating things that the kids do. Draw like a kid. It's always fun to draw like a kid, right? So he kept on drawing like a kid and he had so much fun. So after coloring the sun with yellow, what he has done is he has gone or oh, outlined everything with orange, all the lines. Okay, so now the, this fish has a orange body, a yellow head and a yellow fin. So I'm going to use the same color combination here. Okay, now let's grab some yellow to color the head and the fins. Try not to color the eyes, let the eyes be white and black. Okay, so once you're done with that, let's grab some red and color the spots red and this Okay, so what is remaining? We need to color the sky and the water. I'm going to take the blue green for the ocean. I'm going to color the ocean blue green. So pop artist is an artist who draw things that are popular. So James Rissi lived in a New York, which is a state next to the ocean and what do you see if you live next to an ocean? You see a lot of ships and boats, right? So that may be the reason he drew ships and boats, okay? And popular things are things that everyone know. And even if you don't live next to a um, ocean, you would know what a ship looks like, right? You can identify a ship, right? So, oh, this turbine was also supposed to be this color. I need to go back and color that. But let me try and color the sky now. And then we are done. Oh, you can add a little bit of black to make it look like gray. It's not too harsh. It's not too harsh. It should look grayish, okay? To for the steam, okay? So I hope you guys had fun drawing with me in the style of James Rizzi. I had a lot of fun. So till we meet next week, bye-bye.